a time for African Americans to really shine and share their knowledge of literature and art and music. So the first one we're going to talk about is literature. So literature is like writing, books, poems, things like that. So this is a picture of Langston Hughes right here, and he was the most famous poet during the Harlem Renaissance. He wrote mostly about rising above white prejudice. So during that time, there was still, even though slavery had ended, there was still a lot of prejudice that was going on. African Americans didn't have this, the same rights, and they were still being treated differently. So he wrote a lot about that and how they felt. And again, he was the most famous poet during that time. Give you guys another uh, 20 seconds to write down your notes. Okay, we'll move on to the next section, which is music. So music. So jazz music was really, really big during the Harlem Renaissance. It started to really develop during that time, and it started getting really big. There was a lot of clubs. People started going dancing and listening to jazz music. And one of the most famous jazz musicians was Louis Armstrong, an African-American man right there. So he developed um, a lot of clubs, like we said, where they played jazz music. White people came to start dancing. Black people came to, and it really brought a lot of people together at that time. So again, write what's in red, and I'll give you guys another 30 seconds to finish your notes. And now we're going to move on to our review questions. So you don't have to write down the questions, but I do want you guys using the sentence starters right here. So the first question, based on the notes that we just took, is going to be, how do you think white people felt about listening to their songs? So the, the Langston Hughes wrote poems about how people, how African Americans were oppressed at the time and how they needed to um, kind of like try to get, gain their own rights, and so did... Um, uh, Louis Armstrong. They did a lot of music based on that. So how do you think white people felt listening to their music and listening to how the African Americans felt that they were being oppressed? So make sure, again, don't write the question, but in your notes, write down, I think that white people felt, and then answer the question. I'll give you guys about a minute to do that, and then I'm going to cold call one of you guys to give me your answer. And again, this one's kind of an opinion one, so it doesn't have to be the right or wrong answer. It's just how, you, how do you think that they felt. And remember to justify answers, so don't just say, I think they felt bad, or I think they felt... Mad. So I think they felt bad because this. Okay, so now I'm going to cold call one of you guys. Do you want to roll up to now? One, two, three, four, five, Marisol. Yay. So what do you think? How do you think white people felt? Think, Remember to say the next sentence too. I think that white people felt kind of good. Why do you think they felt good? Because like one down is called to a clamp down and it isn't so jazz. Okay, so you, you think they felt good because they were all together and like they weren't like separated, yeah. right? Okay, that's good. So let's have one more person. Do you want to roll again? Say what they think. No. Okay, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Celine, what do you think that they felt listening to have the music of like how people were being, about African Americans were being oppressed and they didn't have the same rights? Do you think they felt good about it or do you think they felt bad? What do you think? I think they felt bad because um, they were expressing how they felt. Who was expressing how they felt? So they're expressing how they felt. Why do you think they felt bad about it though, the white people? 
You're, you're on the right track. Keep going. So do you think that white people felt bad for the African Americans? Why? What do you think that they felt? Sad. Sad that they were being treated that way? Okay, good. So maybe they felt kind of bad that they didn't really know what was, that, that they were being treated that way, and they felt kind of bad that they finally were hearing it through songs and things like that. That's good. So some of them might have been happy that they were all getting together and hanging out, and then some of them might have been like, wow, I didn't really know that they were feeling this way. Now I know, and I feel a little bad about it. Good. Okay, so now let's get to the second one. Again, just use the sentence starters. So do you think that white people started to think differently about African Americans after listening to the music and reading the poems? And so you can put, I do or do not think that people started thinking differently because it could take about a minute to do that one as well, and then I'll cold call another piece. So where do we stop? We need one, two, three, four, five, Ricardo. So what do you think? Do you, I do or do not think people started thinking differently because? They started thinking differently. Complete sentence. They started, um, people started thinking differently because they didn't have a channel. Say it again. They had a channel. Okay, okay, good. So they knew that they saw that African American people had talent, yeah. maybe, and that they could do yeah. different things. Uh-huh, good. That's a good one, I like that. What about, or go ahead and roll again, let's hear from another person. Two. One, two, Marisol again, lucky you. What do you think? I do think that people started differently because people were listening to their own music. People started listening to their music now instead? Okay, that's good. One more person. Three, one, two, three, Kenya. Yeah, you had a good one, so what do you think? I do think people started thinking different because they saw that they were they were wronged by treating um, African Americans bad. Okay, good. So they started they seeing like the, yeah, they started seeing what they were going through, what they're writing in their songs, and they felt kind of bad. So maybe started thinking a little bit differently. Okay, good. Good job, guys.